Hello everyone! Today I have a build order for you in this beautiful map called Permuda Locket. We start with our land factory. Uh, and then. 2, 3, 4. Mm. Yeah, I think the engines will have a good time here. Uh, land factory, 12 pigeons. Air factory. That's the build. You can move this here. And hope for the best. Mm. Yeah, this is good. And this is a very 20 by 20 map with 67,000 mass. It's what I would call a infinite mass map. Basically, why is it infinite? As you can see right here, I have AK mass around my base. Just on my side, I have 16k, 18k, and therefore mass is quasi infinite. Okay, now, however, we're going for a very try hard build order, guys. So we gotta make sure you click these big rocks right, because if you miss one of them, it's gonna go really bad. Therefore, you make sure you click all of them right. Da, 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 da. One end is out. It needs to start assisting. And as you can see, we have a perfect eco balance. I'm gonna make him move a little bit more. I said, then I think it's. Mm, I really don't wanna stall. I think. No, I think it's this one. And then we're gonna send this fourth engineer here. Maybe that was wrong, but oh my god, I keep messing up my keyboard, my keys. But it's okay. Ay ay ay. Anyhow, yeah, he comes here. He's gonna then hold in shift so I don't mess it up. Take these, take these, take these, take these. Another engineer assist. We're gonna rush a transport, an air scout, and two inties, air scout, two inties, air scout, two inties, air scout, two inties. I'm gonna make sure transport comes here. And uh, why am I stalling mass? Oh, cause this guy's about to take it, okay. No biggie. And I should have five. Yeah, five guys here. We're gonna pick this transport, and this transport is gonna come here. And now while they do that, I'm gonna build this. This is gonna help me. And then the ACO can come here and build a little Utho Utopia. My air scan needs to come here. Also to confirm no bombers in this or anything else is gonna come. And I'm just gonna let you guys know this starting now. This this is a very explosive build order it requires a lot of APM and the probabilities that you will mess it up are really high because as you can see I'm already starting to have like a lot of struggle uh, you can just come here do this and then, and then these guys want to make a land factory dun, dun. and then you wanna help do that and then probably start I'm actually just wanna help him to be honest then we are air scout, I didn't see anything, but I hope nothing came. Same thing here. Uh, land factory, da da da. And we can do something like this. And then this guy, I'm gonna make him start doing da da da. From this factory, you want to have this. From this factory, you want to have this. Am I missing anything? Uh, I need like more engineers here. Actually, you guys can start building your own pe kind of pigeons. Uh, I need one of you here, one of you here. Probably these two are gonna start making my navy. And I'm having a little bit of power issues, but it's okay, it's gonna fix itself very soon. Or if not, I'm just gonna pause my air and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, something, 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 
Something, something, something, something, something, something. Why is my power <laughs> not fixed yet? Guys, come on. We are not super bad, but we shouldn't be starting like this. But then again, it's what I tell you. It's a very... Definitely extremely cutthroat uh, map. Okay, now I'm, now I'm good. Now I'm good with the E. I'm gonna grab two of you. Maybe three, actually. Three of you. And I'm gonna drop you here. And this guy needs to continue this. One of these guys needs to grab this. And as you can see, it's all chaos right now. And you should get accustomed to that because this map is gonna be pure chaos. Now I'm having like way too much energy. ACU out. I mine a lot of energy, so I like start moving other things. Can you guys, for the love of fucking god, my god, and you can uh, I'm supposed to do this. Then I have my navy factory, I have another navy factory, I have a uh, land factory. Oh, this no, 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 this one is gonna continue doing this. Uh, now no, I need more power, I need more power, I need more power. No, 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 I need more power, I need more power. We need more power, and you may be wondering oh, why the fuck do we need so much power? Because you can see we're having a lot of mass overflow, and um, that's not good. Maybe we can, I don't know, you two guys make this, and I'm just clicking on my hotkeys. Oh my god, how many factories do I have? AFK, this is a fucking Christ. I'm gonna these two guys are gonna come here, come here. And they're gonna make me a nice little line. Then you're gonna come here, then you're gonna come here, then you're gonna come here. And so on. Then this transport needs to start coming here. So many things to do. As you can see, this map is very chaotic. I have a lot of mass. So I'm gonna rush that. And I'm trying to make as much energy as possible. But it's never freaking enough, guys. And here I'm gonna rush attack, attack one PD. Then this. And I have my whole air. Uh, God damn it. This. I still have so much mass, my god. Okay, you guys. Then you're gonna do this. And then you're gonna help this go tech 2. As I want to have more tech 2 power and less reggae power. And then actually you drop these guys here. And then I have like units coming here. I think I should have an NG here. I don't know why he's not coming here. Oh my god, no no no, you got actually just make me a raider at this point. I select all my factories and now I can having like a better eco balance. I don't need so much E, I need mass. Oh la la, see this is bad, this is bad. These clusters of NGs are AIDS for us, it's not good. I'm going to start sending all of that through here. Maybe, I don't know, chill it with that a little bit. And I think we're having a good time. We definitely don't want more energy, we want to focus on the on the tech 2 power immediately. We might want to, I don't know, here. Could you guys make me this? And here. No, they are not. And then I'm gonna select all my NGs and make them reclaim it's anything. Oh my god, guys, you're so fucking close to all this reclaim police. The tech 2 engineers already out. Uh, should I? I'm gonna. And then we're gonna make another one. And then we're gonna make another one and put a shield right here. And I hope everyone starts working on that. Now I have a lot of mass once again. This is a fucking crisis. It's gonna finish quickly now? Yes, it will, so. You start pressing your tech to max button, you start pressing everything. You come here, you make this. You click on your max. You grab some more NGs. You continue pressing the tech one mess 
button and welcome to Bermuda Locket guys it's an infinite well quasi infinite mass map and this is how you want to play make tech to power make obscene amounts of tech one power I have how many pigeons at home I have 72 which is a small part and I still cannot afford anything even with the other tech 2 pigeon and look I still have so much mass in the bank I need to start finding other stuff then around here I'm gonna find like a big chunk of engineers and I'm gonna start making like a lot of air factories is something I do uh, then the tech 1 power dudes I'm definitely like stalling big time when it comes to air I only have 13 so therefore now I need to start like making more air otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble pretty soon but this is why I'm a dirty 1600 and I am not a fucking 2k because I'm having issues but managing all of this and I'm a little bit worried about my mass right now actually but my power is doing fine I will already finish that I guess now we're cleaning everything up and as you can see I'm having I'm not doing that bad to be honest uh, this is pretty fucking sad I never picked this up actually just grab this too and this is gonna grab there too but as you can see it's a lot but I've, I feel sorta of good I have okay navy air bay lacking but then again it's it's you gotta see what your opponent is doing and you're prone to errors but it's better to like make a lot of stuff you might not need than to not make it like what let me rephrase it you want to spend all your mass as fast as humanly possible you do not want to overflow spend your mass on anything and even if you're missing something oh my god i love this hockey um even if you're missing anything um you still have it and you can use it later like maybe i have too many navy factories naval factories well look i have all of these i can Select my idle transport. Um, where are my NGs? So just here, this NG is here. And then I can drop this guy here. And then I can say everybody here. This one's gonna be take two. And depending, oh my god, did I absolutely crush Navy? Yes. Did I not? Then go for a destroyer. Am I winning Earth? Am I winning land? I can start planning of like, you know. Oh my god! Can I afford this? Oh, they are running! Oh wow. Yeah, all of this. Like, this is how you get a lot of air. <laughs> air control, but I mean, we do have three tech 2 pigeons. So we're kinda doing good on power right now. I need to start pressing more tech 2 max button. I think I carry like tech 2 engineers here now. That's like a technique. And I am gonna have air, I'm gonna have navy. If my opponent goes tech 3 air, then guess what? I'm gonna start rushing. Okay, I don't have enough to rush tech 3 air. Oh, I was tech 2 ng, tech 2 ng. Did I grab all of them? I don't see a single tech 2 ng. Uh, I'll be fine. No, I will not. No, I'm not gonna be fine. I am definitely not gonna be fine. And this is gonna take. Oh, tech 2 ng. Good. Everybody, stop helping. The tech 3, actually I don't think I have the mass to be affording these upgrades both at the same time. And if you win navy then you can like stop a lot of stuff and then if you win land you start stopping stuff and look at your eco and be like mix it up. Hello everyone, now with our replay here on, on Bermuda Locket. 20 by 20 where one of those maps were land air and sea all matter a lot with a small small amount of 66,000 months and we're gonna see we have this beautiful replay from nexus and tex on the legends of the star semi-finals 2021 straight out from the fucking bakery my guys so let's begin. Uh, Nexus doing a Swiss uh, on the build order. Land factory 12 pigeons. Air factory. I'm gonna speed it up to two. We already saw all of this, so I'm not gonna 
bother too much with that. But instead, text has what is it? One, two, three. Three plus five. Oh, he's doing egg. I'm so dumb. Egg pigeons, land factory, four pigeons, air factory, seven pigeons, air, ten pigeons, air. Now you may be wondering the big difference is that text is going egg pigeons, land factory. Because as you can see, there's an obscene amount of free claim. Just on the screen right now, there is 15, almost 15,000. Therefore, he wants to put out more engineers with the second factory. He does not, I repeat, he does not want to go for a more offensive approach. He wants to get the reclaim faster. Why not more offensive? Because simply put, for his land to go all the way here, it's gonna take way too long. It's gonna be too much. It's not worth it. Instead of having like five more engineers to build more energy and to take more mass would be much better. Anyhow, after explaining that, because you can either go what Nexus is doing, as we can know, the transport rush in this map. Or you can try going for something more land-based. Spam more engineers and get more mass faster. But in doing so, you risk, you know, Nexus is gonna drop here. But what's over? Let me put this. Nexus. Ah. Uh, Nexus is gonna drop here and control this area. Pro pro maybe these two. If your air is delayed, you risk your opponent as text. He still doesn't know Nexus is here. He knows now that he has dropped here. He needs to start preparing his transport soon because otherwise he risks Nexus making another transport soon and dropping here. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. As we can see right now, Tex is ahead 2k mass. Um, why? Because, as I said, he made this other factory and therefore he has much more engineers compared to Nexus. Uh, Nexus already has his other land factory, but he doesn't have nearly as much as Tex, who is already on his close to his fifth fact air factory. However, Nexus is already puking a lot of factories around here to reclaim and to get stuff. Same here with Tex, he's gonna start putting some factories down. And he's probably gonna put way more here because these are the offensive ones and these are the defensive ones because the only way to attack this would be through tech to navy cruiser or breaking through here or air but the most probable that could go is like land here needs to go through here because as you can see very tight passage very easy to defend this area with land another thing that's extremely important is the navy Tex currently is gonna have a big advantage compared to Nexus who only has one Navy frigate. I mean not Navy frigate but one what's it called? Navy factory. Now in this map there's three things you don't want to lose. You don't want there's I would say mostly two. You don't want to lose air and you don't want to lose navy. Losing navy, as you can see here. These uh, 8, 16 mexes right here are all under attack through navy. These two, like everything is pretty much under the navy because look how close this is. Um, maybe those rock, that rock in the middle protects it, but from this angle, a tech 2 destroyer can easily destroy it, and obviously a cruiser can target any of these. So it's very easy for like, you can even park a frigate here and it might be able to hit it. Therefore, Navy is extremely important, air also why, same thing, an air factory can start attacking everything, and you lose drops, you risk a lot of stuff, therefore you want to have everything, as you can see they're even making navy here, 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 so they're trying to make as much navy as they can, uh, they don't make any navy on the outside ring, simply put because it's not worth it, well as you can see this game is gonna basically be all about Navy and air, land is still gonna play a role, but for example, this ACU here can completely stop almost any attacks. There's like, you need to overrun the ACU, and that's gonna be hard. I'm gonna lower the volume of this a little bit. And then here, the same thing, they just spark the ACU and it stops everything. But, anyways, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lower the volume. In game, it's 
really loud out the, 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 the shooting. However, as you can see, do you want to rush take two something quickly? I would say take two air is the best one. Because our good friend Tex, I think he's having power issues. You see he has almost 3k mass in the bank that he cannot spend because he built all he built all of this energy and he didn't continue. And now he's having power issues, which is killer. It's awful. It's like GG scan the stuff. If you are fucking up this bad in power, you're probably gonna lose. Because you're not spending all your mass, and as you can see, Nexus actually has just one shy of two, and he's having an amazing time because he's able to spend all his mass. It's gonna be a huge benefit towards him. While Tex just now finally finishes his tech to pigeon, but his lead could be even better, I think, because he's having these huge attacks. He could be even having a better time had he not have 3k mass in the bank. It's pretty bad. I don't think he even has a take to max compared to Nexus. He probably has a couple. Yes, he has one. He has two. Two take to maxes anymore on the way. Not that I can see. Still, two take to maxes is still ahead in the Echo game. I think he may have air. Maybe not if he keeps jumping over these strive and frigates that are just completely destroying his air. I feel like he goes take to navy pretty soon here. I don't know. Well, anyways, the map is pretty much that. You see, land comes here, comes here. This is a choke point where land cannot get in. Same here. A take to a take one PD here would have been freaking brutal, but I mean, there's enough gunships to deal with anything here. So you see, Nexus. I mean. Tex doesn't have air, he shouldn't be there, he cannot come here because he has less air. He's about to lose navy too, which is absolutely dreadful. And you see this expansion over here is just dying to all the gunships, all the renegades. I don't know if you can see these little things. And that's just gonna give Nex access to this small 5000 patch of reclaim here. And then, uh, he shouldn't have made a cruiser. Well, I guess it's okay because he doesn't have airboot. Then you also have this small 5k patch of reclaim because Nexus is gonna be taking two. Nexus rushing his own cruiser as well. And yeah, as you can see, land isn't really doing much for anybody. Like, yes, he has this much land, he has this much land, but it's not it's not really doing much. Maybe if you do a proxy here, you can be annoying and attack you here. But that's about it. The big thing is air and navy, and also I would say ecoin. You don't want to get sloppy on the ecoin. You have to pick up as much reclaim as you can. And then you see both players already picked almost all the reclaim. Now it's about who wins this patch of reclaim. Who wins this patch of reclaim? This patch of reclaim, like right here, it's just this is like 5k, 6k more or less reclaim. This is gonna be brutally good for Nexus, and I think Tex is having mass issues probably. Yes, he does. While well, Nexus isn't as badly, let's see. Yeah, Tex is having like a little bit of mass issues. Which overall make him lose. I would say, I mean, I'm not sure if this is what's making him lose, maybe, but he's definitely not having a, a good time. And then again, Tex also pulled out of this mass investment here. He lost air, he lost it. And I think that's giving our good friend. Nexus, uh, a boost compared to Tex, who does not have access to that and who only has 5 tech to max again, so hopefully Nexus has, Nexus has a couple of more tech to max I said Nexus Yeah, Nexus having way more tech to max and he's gonna have more with all of this mass incoming and soon with all of this for him to have because Tex here is making a mistake of, I think these cruisers and these mermaids aren't really what he wants or what he needs. The Siren Destroyer cannot attack backwards. And therefore making two mermaids, I think it would have better to like, I don't know how long mermaid takes. Mermaid, it's just 133 seconds. It could have been like, I don't know, he could already have a destroyer, a second destroyer here. And that could make a bigger impact, the mermaids just die and they're not doing enough than these frigates here. Like, Tex is just not taking the correct battles and then this 
this here is not good, he's trying to snipe the AC, but he doesn't really have much. And he's just here now, sadly. So yeah, uh, this is about to end because as you can see there's a lot of destroyers from Nexus Chan and he's just gonna be winning the whole land. Oh no, I think, yeah, I, I don't think this is a good fight for our good friend. Tex, <laughs> oh he's fighting over a cruiser, ay ay ay, yeah, don't fight over cruisers. And yeah, now he loses his navy, he loses his air, the game is over. And then he talks about this power stall that he fixed, but then again it's it's really bad overflowing 3k mass, that's 3 tech to mexes plus all the mass he started losing from, what is it called, from his mexes because when you are stalling power, you don't get that mass this is pretty much the map uh, make sure you can withstand any land attacks then win air and win navy and win game and that's the game, that's Bermuda Locket have a good one guys